Are you surprised when people say that the world's largest passenger aircraft, the Airbus A380, is extremely easy to replace? Despite the enormous aviation benefits it brings, it is also an aircraft that many times airlines raise more questions than answers. And when it comes to its replacement, many eyes turn to the 777X. It can be seen as a potential aircraft that can perform some of the roles that are already performed by aircraft such as the A380. So will the 777X take the A380 off the flight path so easily? Let's find out in today's episode. Initially, in terms of capacity, the A380 was the top choice for airlines, but in the end, this is also the reason why the plane was left behind, because airlines think it's too risky. Currently, there are not many airlines that have an optimal deployment roadmap in general. In other words, their business model has many points that are not suitable for such a large aircraft. Naturally, the 777X raises a similar concern, which is why some airlines have yet to commit to the aircraft. But at least it won't carry over existing concerns around a 380 facilities. You see, the sheer scale of the super jumbo jet has led to multi-million dollar investments in airports around the world and is clearly a response to airline desires. Meanwhile, despite their oversized body, 777X has the advantage that their wings are in the form of foldable wingtips. The special wings have a maximum span of 71.75 meters, and when the plane touches the ground, it will be 64.85 meters. Basically, when the plane lands, the wingtips will lift up, making the wings shorter. The reduction of 7 meters may seem insignificant compared to its total length of tens of meters, but it brings great convenience. The airplane can be converted from a Category F to a Category E aircraft by folding the wingtips. Given that Category E airports make up the majority of large airports worldwide, this move is very significant. The 777X's ability to fly to as many airports as possible will be severely limited if it stays an F category aircraft. If an aircraft cannot reach the airports they desire, airlines will have very little incentive to purchase it. So it can be said that this is an extremely wise move for Boeing. And as mentioned above, A380 F category aircraft has difficulty due to its too long wingspan at most airports and requires special gates or parking lots. Even runways and taxiways must be strengthened and widened to accommodate such wingspan. There are also worries that there may no longer be a need for an aircraft such to the A380 or even the 777X. And people are content with the 787 Dreamliner and or even the middle of the road, a 35900. Interestingly, there is an analysis that the reason may be the 777X is not a four-engine aircraft. But that's not a problem because 777X can solve the main concerns that Supper Jumbo has. Of course, it cannot be denied that having four engines brings many benefits, but it is clear that the more power, the more costs, not to mention the added difficulty of maintaining them. So even though the 777X is a less expensive option, its capacity level is still quite good. Consequently, for certain airlines, a 380 represented an excessive leap while the 777X might be the ideal choice. On the other hand, in the past few years, we can see the success of the A350-1000. And of course, Boeing wants a solution that can replace the Dash 1000 on the market. The classic 777 will not be in the sky for decades to come, but its latest version is considered compatible to compete with Dash 1000. Airbus, of course, has benefits to some degree because the series is already firmly established. And with the guarantee that it will arrive, it may be seen by certain airlines as a safer option. However, in some cases, 777X can be more beneficial for airlines. Who knows, keep in mind that the 777X will certainly be a proven and operational aircraft eventually. Time is moving closer to when customers can experience a new era of long-distance travel with the 777X. Additionally, as mentioned earlier, there have been certification issues causing delays. Nevertheless, leading airlines have already committed to the aircraft, demonstrating at least what it brings, even though orders have occasionally been lacking. In addition, there will also be many other potential customers waiting for an EIS version of 777X. They look forward to its appearance when it is put into use to better evaluate its performance, and also how it works. And the 777-300ER isn't really that old of an airplane for some clients. Consequently, a replacement is not on the cards, it's simply just jet. Eventually, 
but the release of the 777X in early 2020 coincided with the fact that many airlines are still accepting flights with the older 777. So the aircraft's life cycle is not at its end. With some competition in the sector, it's quite crucial to evaluate just how airlines are going about replacing the A380. Airlines themselves provide the best proof available. The replacement plans of the airlines that have phased out the aircraft or are preparing to do so differ greatly from one another. So why? Because those airlines that placed the A380 order would maybe be the first to acknowledge that this was a mistake, and as demand, industry trends, and company strategies have changed, these airlines do not need a plane that large. Most people agree that a 35900 or the 787 Dreamliner are suitable long-term options. However, if you're Cater Airways, you're still in need of a plane with a high capacity, and it has been determined that Qatar saw the 777X as the best alternative to the super jumbo jet. But because of the ERE's delays, a heavier and longer ideal reliance on a 380 was necessary. Although it will take some time for Qantas to retire the largest passenger airliner in the world, they will be among the final operators of the aircraft. They have preparations in place for this. A380 will be replaced by the A350-1000. Due to their large capacity and dual engine design, these aircraft are thought to be the best option in the long run. With A also complementing, the A350-1000 is being specifically constructed for Project Sunrise flights. Now you might think the replacement here is the A350 rather than the Boeing 777X. Actually, it's not wrong. Indeed, it serves as evidence that the A350-1000 and the 777X are regarded as direct rivals in more ways than one. Up to now, these two aircraft have always been placed in a battle to see which will replace the A380. Let's see, both manufacturers claim class-leading economics for their aircraft, but in reality, they are very, very close. The 777X has a 16% advantage in capacity, which directly affects the cost of seats, but the Dash 1000 has a lower trip cost. So with similar costs per seat, both will be competitive and will depend on how many seats an airline believes it can fill. For those that can fill 400 seats, Boeing's aircraft seems a good alternative. For those who prefer lower risk, the Dash 1000 with 350 seats is the right aircraft. The 777X also includes a more intriguing characteristic. Its size and lightweight construction will improve performance, and it will be powered by the new GE9X engine, which is the largest commercial engine to date. The range of both aircraft is sufficient for the longest typical long-haul flights. Here, the Dash 1000's maximum range of 8,700 nautical miles surpasses that of the 777-9. However, the smaller Dash 8 will create a turnaround. Boeing has released statistics indicating that its range is 8,745 nautical miles. Because of its enhanced engines and aerodynamics, Boeing asserts that the new, the plane will also be the most efficient wide-body aircraft in the world. Comparing effectiveness, meanwhile, is challenging until the aircraft is put into service. Furthermore, these two jets are quite different here. The 777X maintains the aluminum body of the 777 but adds composite materials to the wings, while the Airbus airplane has a flawless design and a composite structure. In short, to far, while the 777X has exceptional dimensions, advanced materials, and advanced engine technology, the A350 shines with its lightweight composite airframe, advanced aerodynamics, and outstanding fuel efficiency and the choice between these giants to replace a 380 will depend entirely on the specific needs and preferences of the airlines looking to dominate the long-haul market.